welcome back to Lucid 9, where... I'd still like to know what the heck we're doing at this point. Outside, we're, uh, we're stuck with here, uh, Rhea. I wanted to talk her father, or... At the very least, tell her about the exchange between him and Haru. But we arrive at the subway station, just then cutting our conversation short. And the platform is angrily empty. The ordinary benches are completely free of congrats to gum or scraps of paper, as if they never been sat on. Furthermore, the only person inside of the attendant. At the ticket booth and corner currently snoring. In a way, it makes sense not only is my station, but Izumu is known for its strength security and prosperity. Why would anyone want to leave that? That's <laughs> Oh, it's still strange that platforms have pretty decent traffic when we were heading to District 8 the other day, but now it's completely empty. Even if this is quite style, is this quite a spell for rush hour? Really, really reasonable. Come on, come to think of it. How has this city like, recently disappearances? Oh, don't ask me. My nose that they're carrying bags. <laughs> I live in bubble, bubble where where the only reaction I see are ones of fellow students. I have no clue. Common office worker is thinking, or the common housewife, or common fast food worker. God, even though you go to a fast food joint every so often, <laughs> just wait till you become an adult, bro. You'll be questioning, why the hell am I doing this job? <laughs> yes, I've actually questioned that. Or twice. Maybe a few times. Is the city afraid? Or am I just looking too much into this? Here, quietly, not my sleep. Touching her hot ticket in her hand. Please, gives me the. Don't you go home. Didn't you go home yesterday night? Oh gosh! Don't remind me, I swear! There were zombies hiding in the corner. Ooh. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Dang it. Still, one of my favorite characters so far in the series. Outside of Yakko. No one can replace Yakko! <laughs> I gave him an ego. Don't judge. I burst into laughter, uh, laughter as she leaps away, fl fluttering her arms wildly in my direction. Pretty much right there going, I'm gonna kill you! Hey, who knows how many times that people, girls told me that. It hasn't really helped. Gamma! Well, see any zombies? I see your ugly mug. I wish Mika, uh, Miki were here. She could return the favor with who I don't know a little. A score. Yeah. Hey, innocent little bug. Be innocent? You know that's a lie. <laughs> there. Or maybe a big hairy spider with huge eyes and piercing a that click tongue. Together as it. 
I'm here. I lunge towards her. She darts further down the platform, giggling lightly. Okay, <laughs> it's questioning them. I pull towards her. Suddenly, I darts across to my vision. Get away from me! What? I want to know too! Stop short. Rhea also guards. Oh. Two academy students are sprinting across the platform on opposite sides. Track. Well, waving between the col columns and just other branches in their ha haste. What? Like no two. At first, I think they that they just having a casual race, but when the second student crashes into the trash can, the balance the ground. First, doesn't even from a glance. It's Yakko. What the hell? He gestures to the student who just took a nasty fall. And look again. Much dropping as I recognize that familiar head of blonde hair. Oh, what's Yakko doing here? Oh god, no! Don't tell me he's the murderer! I already got him out of the way! No! He struggles to pull himself to his feet, loathing at his ribs. And his face is twisted in a way that I've never seen before. Arching angels and uh, arching angles and contorts lines that make him look like a completely different person. The other boy who's currently halfway down the platform, bony, pale, with brown hair that hangs over his eyes. Doji, Doji and Yako, what are they doing here? Isn't Shoji supposed to be missing? If, of course, the words of Ari still fillings trusted. Why? Why are they running? What's going on? I said, get away, Shoji! Don't you, don't be like this. Uh. Hear the faint blare of an incoming train. Shoji struggles closer to the tracks. Wild look in his eyes. I know. What are you trying to do? I know who you are. Yo! You're too close, Shoji! Oh! Another person dies! I wanted to go through this with the least amount of deaths! Have my normal killing spree, this does not help! We have bolts forward, but I catch a glint of the train and none of the co collar of her jacket. Don't, you'll just hurt yourself! Word slips from my throat. Cool, simple, slimy, legs. Serpent. Uh, but... Yako suddenly throws himself at Shoji. Tricking... Trickling him closer to the train. Rhea... And... But... Doesn't move. Get off! No! You're not in the right mind, Shoji! Was that up? Was that a punch sound effect? I don't think you guys heard that. Hopefully you guys could pause before my eruption, but I I know I heard a freaking punch sound effect. Shoji socks him straight in the jaw. Yako flinches backward, but keeps 
Brian Scar as he drags himself to his feet. Train blares an incoming approach. Uh, what is he doing? Soji wiggles to the grip, perhaps snapping feet at Yako's knee. But Yako refuses to buckle. He simply he stumbles closer to the tracks, ignoring Shoji but uh, fingernails, crying at his hands. Trains drag closer as they pass over the condition line. Stop fighting me! Let go! Rhea claws my arms, striding friendly at me. We need to help. Can't. What? No, we need to call the police. Us, hospital, someone. It's too late. Lights flare in the tunnel. And the train blares closer. Rhea simply climbs against my chest. Eyes blink. Doji braces against the ground as Yako struggles to the edge. There, screaming now half of words are incomprehensible, drowning by the roaring horn. Guild just stood watching. Not fault. Disgusting fire. Finally, Yako wrenches his arm. Doji stares over the edge, limbs thrown back. Train steers forward. Absolutely covers Rita's eyes. With my hand, gaze transfixed uh, as he, as he. Tell me, Yako died. <laughs> Smells right beneath noise. Train which steamrolls him over. Steamrolls. From blood splayed for the front. Betray! I barely catch a glimpse of Yako's face, transfixed on the twin honor before the bulls to stop between. What happened? Yama? Yama, what? My head uh, begins to spin as red pulsates for my eyes. No, 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 no. Yama, Yama, listen to me. You're okay. You'll be fine. I stumble backwards, my hands grasping for a while. I bunch, bench anything my stomach rends with nausea. Where is he? Where is he? The moo? Uh, Yama, where's the train station? Who can breathe? You're okay. Uh, the smell of iron and smoke. Oh, my nostrils. My vision. And. Listen. No one call it. You know. Rhea fades out of sight. Her words blurry in my ear. Fine. Don't. Okay, here. <laughs> I feel bad, god damn it! This does not help! I'm usually an asshole, god damn it! I fell away from reality. The screams first passerby ring my ear. Yeah, I give you a shot. I hate shots. No, I might as well change the voice. It's okay. This one won't hurt. You sure? Well, not too much. You're going to die. 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 Now, 
You guy, you cool shot. No, I won't die. Uh, yeah, that's what I shot too. I. Uh, that depends. <laughs> Is it from a gun or? <laughs> ah, ah, thanks, this. Ah, god damn it! Why? What happened? Was what was that? Um, I'll leave it here for everyone to question, and um, I'm gonna end the episode here, and I hope all of you have a great, wonderful time. And I hope all of you have a great day too. So. See you guys next time, and hopefully nothing more, uh, gets worse. <laughs>